CD5. Practice test 1. In the listening test, you will be asked to demonstrate how well you understand spoken English. The entire listening test will last approximately 45 minutes. There are four parts, and directions are given for each part. You must mark your answers on the separate answer sheet. Do not write your answers in the test book. Part 1. Directions. For each question in this part, you will hear four statements about a picture in your test book. When you hear the statements, you must select the one statement that best describes what you see in the picture. Then find the number of the question on your answer sheet and mark your answer. The statements will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Look at the example item below. Now listen to the four statements. A. They're leaving the room. B. They're turning on the machine. C. They're standing near the table. D. They're reading the newspaper. Statement C. They're standing near the table is the best description of the picture. So you should select answer C and mark it on your answer sheet. Now part one will begin. Go on to the next page. Number one. Look at the picture marked number one in your test book. A. The mountain climbers are resting. B. The power company is raising its rates. C. The dam is under construction. D. The tram is not working. Number 2. Look at the picture marked number 2 in your test book. A. The bowling alley is next door. B. The food is in the bowls. C. The pottery is broken. D. The satellite dish is on the roof. Number 3. Look at the picture marked number 3 in your test book. A. They're waving at one another. B. They're shopping for a desk. C. They're checking the computer. D. They're shaking hands. Number 4. Look at the picture marked number 4 in your test book. A. The sign is hanging from the ceiling. B. The passengers are waiting for a taxi. C. The ticket agent is collecting the tickets. D. The people are passing through customs. Go on to the next page. Number 5. Look at the picture marked number 5 in your test book. A. They're boarding the train. B. They're packing for a trip. C. They're training their colleagues. D. They're reading their mail. Number 6. Look at the picture marked number 6 in your test book. A. The cows are eating the grass. B. The baker is making whole wheat bread. C. The farmer is checking his equipment. D. The man is looking for a vest. Number 7. Look at the picture marked number 7 in your test book. A. 
They're working in a row. B. They're wearing hats. C. They're dancing in a line. D. They're reading the news. Number 8. Look at the picture marked number 8 in your test book. A. The team is on the field. B. The employees are having lunch. C. The workers are at the office. D. The skaters are off the ice. Go on to the next page. Number 9. Look at the picture marked number 9 in your test book. A. The aircraft are being assembled. B. The technicians are skydiving. C. The clothes are on a hangar. D. The pilots are ready to take off. Number 10. Look at the picture marked number 10 in your test book. A. They are ordering meat. B. They are changing channels. C. They are looking at the monitor. D. They are opening the window. Part 2. Directions. You will hear a question or a statement and three responses spoken in English. They will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Select the best response to the question or statement and mark the letter A, B, or C on your answer sheet. For example, you will hear Where is the meeting room? You will also hear A. To meet the new director. B. It's the first room on the right. C. Yes, at 2 o'clock. Your best response to the question, where is the meeting room, is choice B. It's the first room on the right. So B is the correct answer. You should mark answer B on your answer sheet. Now let us begin with question number 11. Number 11. Who handles insurance claims for employees? A. It looks like a hospital bill. B. The shipping clerk made a mistake. C. The Human Resources Office can help you. Number 12. What can I do if I lose my hotel key? A. You can speak to the clerk. B. You should use it less. C. You can take a boat to Turkey. Number 13. When can the barber cut my hair? A. Fresh air is everywhere. B. He's free this morning. C. He's cut his fee in half. Number 14. Who can help me translate this letter into French? A. Ask the associate from France. B. I can go there myself. C. My travel agent can tell you what it costs. Number 15. 
What shall we call our new product? A. We can call him on the phone. B. You always say the right thing. C. Here is a list of suggestions from marketing. Number 16. Let's eat. I'm starving. A. It's not much farther. B. I'm not. I had a big breakfast. C. You can have my seat. Number 17. Why don't you rest for a while? A. The rest will be here soon. B. I don't have time for that now. C. She can only do her best. Number 18. Who will be the guest speaker at the board meeting? A. I guess he doesn't eat meat. B. Most of us are very bored. C. The man who is our host will talk. Number 19. We didn't get in until after midnight. A. You must be exhausted. B. His flight will get in soon. C. I didn't get one either. Number 20. When will we get to the theater? A. We should be there by 5. B. I hear the play is excellent. C. Actors are always late. Number 21. What is the price of this dress? A. That's a good guess. B. It's under $75. C. The cost of living is very high. Number 22. John bought that car he was talking about. A. There's a garage in the building. B. It's a nice place for walking. C. I know, I saw him driving it this morning. Number 23. Mary will be out of town next week. A. Again? She takes a lot of trips. B. Yes, I think she lives downtown. C. She's been feeling weak a lot lately. Number 24. What's the difference between the two cars? A. He doesn't have the power to make the decision. B. The darker one is an import. C. Between you and me, they're too expensive. Number 25. Who left the money lying on the desk? A. No one is lying to you. B. Everyone left after you did. C. I'm sorry. I forgot to lock it up. Number 26. Where do these chairs belong? A. They're the best ones made. 
B. Near the desks is fine. C. The table really looks good there. Number 27. What is the correct time? A. There's no time to spare. B. It's not night time yet. C. It's nine o'clock now. Number 28. What do you want for dinner? A. I'd like some fish. B. I want to meet your brother. C. Mother is a good cook. Number 29. Where did you attend school? A. I haven't found a good one yet. B. I went to the local college. C. School is closed for the holidays. Number 30. When will the conference room be free? A. I don't know how much it will cost. B. We've managed to spend too much already. C. The meeting should be over in an hour. Number 31. Where were we supposed to meet? A. I'll try to find out when. B. The directions are simple. C. I said my office would be fine. Number 32. What pleasant weather we're having today. A. Let's get together soon. B. He's a very pleasant fellow. C. Yes, I always enjoy a sunny day. Number 33. When does your vacation start? A. I think we should start getting ready. B. The date hasn't been set yet. C. I can hardly wait. Number 34. Where can I buy season tickets for the ball games? A. I'm not interested in going. B. What is the reason for that? C. In the office down that hall. Number 35. Why must the editor check my work? A. I'll help you to figure it out. B. The report must be error-free. C. That's not my problem. Number 36. When will the computer be delivered? A. The commuter train arrives on time. B. I'll speak to her tomorrow. C. In about a week, they said. Number 37. Where can I cash a check? A. Coins are heavier than bills. B. I'd check his references if I were you. C. The bank can do it for you. Number 38. Why haven't you written your report yet? A. I've been very busy. B. 
I left my lunch at home. C. A reporter should write his or her own story. Number 39. When will I hear from you again? A. Whenever you find the time. B. I'll call next week. C. You're right about that. Number 40. Why did John stay home from work today? A. This work is exhausting. B. My company is going out of business. C. He decided to work at home. Go on to the next page. Part 3. Directions. You will hear some conversations between two people. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speakers say in each conversation. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The conversations will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Now let us begin with questions 41 through 43. Questions 41 through 43 refer to the following conversation. I need to hire a temporary secretary. My regular secretary has a vacation coming up. I thought I saw two in your office last time I was there. What happened to the other one? Oh, you mean Rick. He's out sick. He's been in the hospital for five days now. That's too bad. Will he be there much longer? I know you're coming up to your busy season. The nurse said he could go home tomorrow, but he's still quite weak and will be out of work for a while longer. Number 41. Who is complaining? Number 42. Where is the sick secretary now? Number 43. How long has he been there? Questions 44 through 46 refer to the following conversation. How long will you be staying in Mumbai? Until Thursday. I have reservations at the Continental Hotel. And the purpose of your visit is? I'm here on business. I work for a company called Madison Technology. Do you want to see my card? No, that won't be necessary. Pick up your baggage in baggage claim, then go through that door over there for customs. Please have your passport or other identification ready to show the customs officer. Thanks. Will someone be searching through my bags or do you have a machine that does that? All baggage is hand-checked. Number 44. Where does this conversation take place? Number 45. When will the woman leave Mumbai? Number 46. What is the reason for her visit? Questions 47 through 49 refer to the following conversation. You installed that dishwasher yourself? You didn't hire a plumber? Actually, my brother did it for me. He owed me a favor. Anyhow, now I don't have to wash dishes by hand anymore. That's great. Did it take him long to install the machine? I spent about two days trying to figure hours out before I hired some help. It didn't take him too long. Only about four or five hours, I'd say. Well, I guess you must be glad to have it with your kids home for the summer. Yes. I used to spend at least an hour a day washing dishes. Now my kids are more willing to help out with the loading and emptying. Number 47. Where was this appliance probably installed?
Number 48. Who installed it? Number 49. How long did the installation take? Questions 50 through 52 refer to the following conversation. They took a survey last month to see how many people watched the Olympics on TV. The results were published this week. Did you see them? No, I haven't read the paper all week. We watched a bit of the Olympics this year, but only the events we were interested in. That's what most people did, according to the survey. I know I never watch an event unless I'm interested in it. I could never watch curling. Me neither. I think most people watch at least some of the Olympics. You'd be surprised. Only 33% of the population watched at any given time. I'll bet that number changed when it was an important hockey game. Even I watched the hockey games, and I don't know much about the sport. Number 50. When was the survey carried out? Number 51. What part of the games did most people watch? Number 52. What percentage of the population watched the games at any one time? Questions 53 through 55 refer to the following conversation. It's great that you're taking up jogging. Just be careful to wear the right shoes. Of course. I bought some top-of-the-line running shoes. I've had it with foot doctors. I know what you mean. It's really hard to book an appointment, and when you finally get in to see them, they rarely tell you anything you don't already know. You go jogging in the field behind the high school, don't you? Every morning. I'm going tomorrow at 5.30. Will you join me? You must be kidding. I'll wait till a decent hour, like 7 or 7.30. Number 53. What does the man advise the woman to do? Number 54. Where does the man go jogging? Number 55. What time will the man go jogging tomorrow? Questions 56 through 58 refer to the following conversation. Have you seen my newspaper anywhere? It arrived today, didn't it? I'm sorry, Mr. Chen. It was delivered before 8 o'clock this morning, but the office manager borrowed it. Tell him I don't mind if he keeps the soccer scores. All I really want is the financial section. I'll ask his assistant to send it down right away. Great. I'm almost ready to take my coffee break, and I'd like to have something to read. Number 56. When was the newspaper delivered? Number 57. Who borrowed the newspaper? Number 58. What does Mr. Chen want to do? Questions 59 through 61 refer to the following conversation. As usual, we'll close the shop for two days after the holidays. Will you and your husband be going on vacation yourselves? No. We always take inventory during the shutdown. We have to take a look at what we have in stock before the nice weather kicks in. It must take a lot of work to go through all of those office supplies. We do the same thing every year, so it's a pretty standard procedure. The hardest part is finding places to put things when they arrive. Number 59. When is inventory always taken? Number 60. How long does inventory take?
Number 61. What does the shop sell? Questions 62 through 64 refer to the following conversation. I know you've decided to invest in real estate, but I think you should wait a bit. It could be a big risk. I'll watch it for a month or two and then decide. But I want to get rich before I'm old. Yes, but you could lose if you're not careful. I lost a lot of money in the stock market last year. Well, I guess you just didn't make smart investments. I have a financial planner who I trust. I never make any decisions without first consulting him. Number 62. What does the woman want to invest in? Number 63. When will she make a decision about her investment? Number 64. What happened to the man? Go on to the next page. Questions 65 through 67 refer to the following conversation. You may not believe this, but postal rates have gone up again. Again? That's the second time this year. Well, they're threatening to raise them once again in another six months. Soon it'll cost over a dollar just to mail a postcard. Well, not for a while yet. Stamps for postcards will still be under 50 cents even with the price hike. It's the packages that will end up costing so much. Number 65. How many times have postal rates been raised this year? Number 66. When might the Postal Service raise rates again? Number 67. How much does it cost now to send a postcard? Questions 68 through 70 refer to the following conversation. I just met your new employee today. How long has he been working for you? Just a few weeks. He's very friendly and gets along with everyone. But he's not very good with debits and credits. Perhaps you should send him to school for a few months' training. I think the local community college offers that kind of course. There's not enough time. The office is understaffed already. It will be better in the long run if your staff is properly trained. Studies show that 50% of employees quit within three months if they don't receive proper training. You're probably right. But I'm afraid we're just too busy right now. Perhaps in a few months, things will settle down and we can consider enrolling him in some courses. Number 68. How long has the new employee been at his job? Number 69. What is he good at? Number 70. What does he need? Part 4. Directions. You will hear some talks given by a single speaker. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speaker says in each talk. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The talks will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Now let us begin with questions 71 through 73. Questions 71 through 73 refer to the following weather report. This is Terence Stevens with your Kingston weather report. We've been experiencing unseasonable weather throughout the month of April with very little rainfall and minimal cloud cover. The blue skies and warm temperatures have had us questioning whether summer was going to arrive before spring this year. 
This is the mildest and driest April on record for over 15 years. However, for the upcoming week, we advise you to carry an umbrella every morning. The rainy season will begin today. Afternoons will be dry and sunny, but if you take a walk, be home early. Rains will begin again in the evening and continue through the night and morning. While the rain is good news for farmers and gardeners, some local citizens were hoping it might hold off a little longer. The annual Bike for Charity event is scheduled to start at 8 o'clock a.m. tomorrow morning, rain or shine. Though bikers will probably get off to a wet start, the road should dry just in time for them to start coming through the finish line. The first few bikes generally roll in sometime around 1 o'clock p.m. Number 71. What begins today? Number 72. When will it be pleasant enough for walking? Number 73. What should be taken to work every morning? Questions 74 through 76 refer to the following report. Something strange has happened at least once every year at about this same time, and this year is no exception. Two reports of unidentified flying objects, UFOs, were registered with police last week by two local residents. The man and woman, both of Harris Drive in Sydney, claim to have seen three spaceships land on their farm and then take off again a few minutes later. They describe the spaceships as white and box-shaped. After an initial survey of the land, no physical damage was reported. Police are investigating. Last year, Allen and Sue Rains, also of Harris Drive, went public with their UFO sighting. The couple was widely criticized by local citizens. Number 74. Who made the report to the police? Number 75. What caused the report? Number 76. How often does this happen? Questions 77 through 79 refer to the following announcement. Power company reserves are extremely low at present due to the prolonged heat wave this area has been experiencing. The city has hit record temperatures four days in a row, with the thermometer reaching 40 degrees Celsius. In addition, the city's air pollution alert is higher than it has ever been before. To combat the heat, people are running their fans and air conditioners night and day. However, if we don't all work to conserve energy, Local utility workers say all power reserves will be used up by the end of the month. This has never happened before in our city, and we all need to work together to prevent a power crisis. City officials are therefore requesting that businesses only use their cooling systems in the afternoon and that private homes use theirs in the evening and early morning hours. Retirement homes, hospitals, and schools are exempt from this request and should continue to use cooling systems during operating hours. Your full cooperation will be appreciated. Number 77. When could the power reserves run out? Number 78. Who can run their cooling systems in the afternoon? Number 79. What is the company asking for? Questions 80 through 82 refer to the following report. In a strange twist of events yesterday, a man actually bit a dog. According to observers, a black stray dog was lying in the sun near a bus stop when a city bus stopped to let passengers off. A dentist dressed in a red raincoat got off the bus 
and accidentally stepped on the dog's tail. The dog immediately proceeded to wrap his teeth around the man's leg in anger. By all accounts, only by biting the dog on the head could the victim get him to release his hold. Both dentist and dog are reported to be doing fine after short visits to their respective doctors. The dog has been placed in a New Jersey shelter, but it is unknown whether or not it will be adopted. Number 80. Who got off the bus? Number 81. What did the man accidentally do? Number 82. Why did the dog bite the man? Go on to the next page. Questions 83 through 85 refer to the following weather report. The meteorologist report that came to our radio announcer's desk this morning reads, Inclement weather ahead. Precipitation imminent. Our translation, another storm coming. Rain likely to happen without delay. This disappointing report comes as a surprise considering yesterday's blue skies and balmy weather. Our photographers caught people all over town yesterday, leaving the office a few hours early to enjoy the beautiful afternoon weather. Before yesterday, we'd experienced 14 consecutive days of rain and only a few hours of sun. Though the rain has been great for the flowers and trees, we have had little opportunity to enjoy the blooming gardens in the past few weeks. Fortunately, next week they are calling for record highs and sunshine. With a summer that seems like it might never arrive, that's something everyone has been waiting to hear. So it looks like you may need to get your umbrellas out one more time. But despite the precipitation records we have set this spring, there's hope that this rain won't last forever after all. We will keep you posted on any further developments. Number 83. What was the reaction to the report? Number 84. What is this report on? Number 85. What does the announcer promise to do? Questions 86 through 88 refer to the following announcement. As your mayor, I'm pleased to announce a free concert at City Hall next Friday at 8 p.m. The musicians are all local teenagers who've worked hard before and after school throughout the year to create a performance that's sure to be both a celebration and a success. You don't want to miss this evening of entertainment. I had the opportunity to visit the music hall while the students were practicing, and these are some very talented musicians. There are only 500 seats in the auditorium, so be sure to get your tickets early. Room 405, City Hall, or Room 400 at Morton Heights High School. If tickets don't sell out, there will be some available at the door. For those of you who are unfamiliar with the location of the new high school, it's located three blocks north of the old school, at the end of Morton Avenue. The address is 250 Morton Avenue. And there's free parking on either side of the school. Support these 100 hard-working youngsters and ensure a good turnout next Friday. Number 86. Who is making the announcement? Number 87. When is the concert? Number 88. How many seats are available? Questions 89 through 91 refer to the following advertisement. Is your skin sensitive to shaving creams and foams? 
A Galaxy Cordless Shaver is the best friend your skin can have. Stainless steel blades cut whiskers cleanly and without pulling, and you won't need to waste money on expensive before and after skincare products. The platinum coated surface will never irritate your skin as the cutters rotate at 7,000 strokes per minute. A built in mirror, a cleaning brush, a travel case, and an unconditional guarantee are included in the low price of $45.95. This product is only available through this exclusive television offer. Number 89. What part of the shaver is made of stainless steel? Number 90. In what direction do the blades move? Number 91. How much does the shaver cost? Questions 92 through 94 refer to the following announcement. The Rock Trading Company wishes to announce a change in business hours. This message is directed to our loyal investors. Starting Monday, our brokers will be available to handle stocks and bonds transactions starting at 10 a.m. No trades may be made prior to 10 a.m. All stocks and bonds transactions must be completed by 4 p.m. There is another change in our schedule. Currency exchanges will no longer be transacted throughout the day. These transactions are limited to between noon and 3 p.m. Any other transactions not related to stock or currency trading will be attended to from 10 a.m. to noon. These new revised hours will be in effect starting next Monday. As always, we will not be open on Saturdays or Sundays. Rock Trading Company closes each year on Wednesdays during the months of July and August. Number 92. What is being announced? Number 93. Who would do business with the Rock Trading Company? Number 94. When is the Rock Trading Company closing? Questions 95 through 97 refer to the following announcement. There will be a vacancy on the school board next May. The position must be filled before the next school session, which begins on September 7th. Anyone who is a resident of Smithtown, at least 21 years old, and interested in fulfilling his or her civic duty, may fill out an application for consideration by the City Council. Applications may be obtained at City Hall on Center Avenue or at the Smithtown Public Library downtown. Those residents who are currently enrolled in adult learning classes with the intent of earning a secondary school certificate are excluded from applying. Please note that applications will be reviewed in alphabetical order. Submit your application by January 1st in order to be considered for this position. Use a blue or black pen when filling out the forms. It is not necessary to attach other documentation such as resumes or cover letters. Candidates who are invited in for an interview will be asked to bring references at that time. For those interested in becoming involved with City Council in other ways, visit Office 2B on the second floor at City Hall. Number 95. Where will there be a vacancy? Number 96. Who may apply for the job? Number 97. How can someone apply for the job? Questions 98 through 100 refer to the following announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. 
Please check that your seatbelts are fastened in preparation for our landing. All trays should be stowed in their upright locked position. Please turn off all electronic devices, including cell phones and laptops. For your own safety and for the safety of this airplane, please keep your cell phones turned off until you are off the airplane and inside the terminal building. Smoking is not allowed in the terminal, so wait until you have picked up your luggage and exited the building before you smoke. Your luggage will be in Section A of the baggage area. To access this baggage carousel, proceed through the main corridor and go down the escalator to the arrivals level. Anyone who has oversized baggage to pick up should visit Desk B on the arrivals level. You will need the ticket stub from your boarding pass and valid ID to pick up your oversized items. If for any reason you cannot locate your luggage, please speak with one of our airline attendants. Thank you for choosing Carter Airlines. Number 98. Where is this announcement being heard? Number 99. What are people not allowed to do? Number 100. Where can people smoke? This is the end of the listening test. Turn to part 5 in your test book. Go on to the next page. This is the end of CD 5.